Hello and welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by tastytutes.com. Today I'm going to show you how to create this simple animated GIF banner in Photoshop CS5. I recently created this banner for the Tastytutes website and I thought I would share this with you. For this example we are going to be using a series of still pictures, some text and create a very small animation sequence of a logo at the end. First, I'm going to demonstrate the banner, and then I'm going to talk through exactly how I went about creating it. So let's start by taking a quick look at the banner. To create an animated banner in Photoshop, you will need to have your Animations panel open and your Layers panel open. If you don't have your Animations panel or your Layers panel open at any time, you can come up to the menu bar at the top, click on Window and scroll down, and simply click on the animations panel there and that should activate it for you. So as you can see here at the bottom these are all the frames that make up the animated GIF right here in the animations panel and over here to the right we have the layers that make up the animation. If you're not already familiar with the process of creating an animated GIF in Photoshop you will soon learn the synergy between these two panels we will have to pay close attention to. So with that said, let's make a start and I'll show you how to create this banner. So I'm going to create a new document. I can either come to File, New, or I can use the shortcut, Command N, or Control N on a PC. And the width I'm going to make 300, and the height I'm going to make 250, and this is going to be pixels. And of course, for screen, 72 dots per inch. Okay. Now before I start adding my frames and layers, I want to share with you my initial approach. Before I create an animated GIF, I generally try and think about you know, the, the image sequence. So here in Pages, this is what I created first. And you can see that I knew before I even started adding my frames, I was going to end up with about 13 frames. And this is the flow that the animation will take. The first two frames will have pictures and the third frame will have some text, and fourth and fifth frame will have more pictures, and so on and so forth. And generally, I find composing a structure like this helps speed up the production of the banner in Photoshop. And also, I must add that this composition, you see through frame 1 to 13, this will determine the arrangement of my layers in the Layers panel. And this is going to make things really easy when we come to animating it in the animations panel. So let's go back into Photoshop and I'm going to start with the pictures. So if I come to my desktop, we will see there's a folder here called Banner Picks. And if I open that, we can see that we have picture 1 through to 8 and my background image. But if I come into Photoshop, in my new document, I'm going to come to File, Place. And I'm going to locate that folder and I'm going to start from the bottom up and you'll see why in a second. So I'm going to place picture 8 and press enter and it's a simple case of redoing this picture 7 pressing enter and I'm going to redo this over and over again until I get all the images in. And there they are, all the images are now in my Layers panel. And if I just move the background to the bottom, we can see that now in our Layers panel, all our pictures are positioned from top to bottom, just how I want them. So now I want to introduce my text layers. For now, we can toggle the visibility of all these pictures, because we don't need to worry about those for now. So now I can see just the background, this background layer here. So I'm going to press, well, first of all, actually, I'm going to come back into my Pages document and I'm going to copy and paste the text which I've planned previously. Copy that and come into Photoshop. And I'm going to press T for the shortcut for the text tool. Click once and hit Command V to paste. And by default, it is set at that font to Myriad Pro. But I'm going to want to change this font to Val. And if you like this font, you can download it free. I've got the link in the description there for you. And I'm just going to position this text how I want it.
And once I'm happy with that, I'm going to quickly press 30 on the number keyboard. And I'll just quickly change the opacity of that layer to 30%. And I'm going to come back to my pages document and I can see that this is going to be the third frame. So I can move the layer in my layers panel just up to frame 3. So it's in sync with my initial composition. And now I'm going to introduce my next text frame. And this is easily done by coming into my layers panel and selecting on this type layer here. I'm going to right click and just duplicate this layer. I'm just going to click OK. And I'm going to come back into my pages and find frame, frame 6, which has got some copy. I'm going to copy that and come over to my new duplicated layer. Just press T and I can select that layer. I'm going to press Command A to select all and then press Command V to paste. And I'm going to press Command D and Enter to deselect that text. So I can come over to my Layers panel and just toggle the visibility of the first layer, the first text layer I made. So now we can see the one we've just made. And uh, with my Type tool selected, I'm just going to reformat the um, layout of this next text frame. Again, Command D, Enter to deselect that. And I'm going to position the layer again into where I want to where I want to put it, which is indeed after picture four on my layers panel. So now you can see how I'm building my text layers, and I'm quickly going to create the last one. And here it is. By using the same process I demonstrated just a second ago, I created this these two text layers here. Basically, um, are the same as the text layers above, but I just changed the color. And I've got a separate text layer here, which is, a, which is again a different size and a different color. And you'll see shortly why I chose to create two separate text layers instead of just one. So now we have all our pictures and text layers in our layers panel, and we are very close to beginning to animate this. But if I come back into my pages document, we can see that the last frame is a logo flash. So this will be our small animated sequence at the end. So if I come to my layers panel and click on the background, and let's toggle the visibility of those text frames because we want to see those. And like earlier, we're going to go to File, I'm going to come to Place, and I'm going to pull in my logo. Place that and press Enter. And then I'm going to come back into my layers panel, and on that logo layer, I'm going to right click and duplicate layer. So click OK. I'm going to press Command T and I'm going to hold down Shift and Alt and move my mouse cursor to the bottom, in this case, the bottom right corner. I'm just going to toggle the scale of that ever so slightly so it's just a little bit smaller. And then I'm going to do the same thing right click, duplicate layer, OK, Command T and Shift, Alt, just move that a little that small little bit. So what you've got is three instances of the logo. The first one, if we look at that cl closely, the first one is small, the second one is slightly bigger, and then the last one is the biggest logo. Now we'll see why I did that very shortly when we start to animate this banner. So now with all our layers in order it is time to animate this banner. I must add that it was important to make sure all the layers were in place before creating frames in our animations panel, as this proves most practical. Now it is time to turn our focus onto the animations panel. Now firstly, if we take a look at the bottom right of our animations panel, you will notice a little button here. Now sometimes, when you open this animations panel for the first time, the panel is set to Timeline Animation, and that's what this is here, it's Timeline Animation. In this example, we are not interested in this, so we want to convert to Frame Animation. And now we're going to start to make our frames. So in the animations panel, we're going to go from left to right, and in our layers panel, we're going to go from top to bottom. So our first frame is going to be picture 1. So let's make the picture 1 visible in our layers. And then I'm going to come down to this button here, which is duplicate selected frames or just create a new layer or another an add frame. 
And with that, I'm going to come to my Layers panel and toggle the visibility of Picture 1 and toggle the visibility of Picture 2. So now we have two frames. First is Picture 1, second is Picture 2. And again, add a new frame, toggle the visibility of Picture 2 and reveal the visibility of the text. Now, as you can see, you've got the logo in the background, so I'm going to, again, toggle the visibility of that. So we've got our text layer. And again, click on Add Frame, toggle the visibility of the text, Picture 3, and you get the idea. We are beginning to add frames and reveal our layers in order. And the last frames to add is our animated logo sequence here, which I wanted to highlight. So I've created a new frame. And I'm going to reveal, toggle the visibility of the small logo, create a new frame. Let's toggle the visibility of that and bring in our second logo. And again, the third one. And now you can see, if I click on the frame before, you can see exactly the effect I'm going for. So now all the frames are in place, it's now a case of addressing the time for each frame. At the moment, as you can see underneath, they're all set to 10 seconds. Now this isn't going to be appropriate for our banner, so we're going to have to change all these. For example, let's click on all of these. If I press and hold shift, I can click and select all the layers. If I click underneath the frame, I can set it to 0.1 seconds. And if I click on the first frame, underneath, on the bottom, we have a play button. So we can preview that. And as you can see, the frames are just dashing through very, very quickly there. In the bottom left, we have a button that says once, but we can change this to forever. This means that when we export the banner, it will, sim it will loop. And when it gets to the end, it will just go back to the beginning and it will play forever. If that was set to once, then the banner would only play once and then stop. So with that said, I'm going to change each frame or change the times of each frame to something more legible. So I'm going to select the first frame, pressing shift and select the second frame. I'm going to change this to about three seconds. Okay. And I'm going to change the text to four seconds. And by doing that, if I click on the time, you normally have a selection of times there. But if you don't have it, you can click on other and type in another time feature there. Okay, select all the pictures, hit three seconds, same with all the other pictures, three seconds, okay, and each text frame I'm going to set to four seconds. Apart from this one, because I want follow on Twitter to come up for just a second and then the click here button to come up underneath. And then we come to our logos and I want the logos to be quick and the end frame to be about four seconds also. And actually I'll select the first two frames and set that to no delay so it's quite fast. So once we're happy with our frames and the times of our frames, we need to export this banner. If I come to file, and we're going to save for web and devices, we're going to be brought up with a screen here. And you've got to make sure that you set it to GIF and you can customize the quality. In this case, I'm going to choose 128 colors and I'm going to click save and I'm going to save it to the desktop as banner. And if we come to the desktop, we can preview our banner. So that's how you create an animated frame banner in Photoshop CS5. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. If you did, go ahead and subscribe to the channel as there will be lots more vids just like this coming soon. And if you're interested, hop over to my website at tastitutes.com. You can see more videos just like this there. And from there, you can follow me on Twitter where I'll be talking about various creative topics. So have fun guys and see you next time.